Hi and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com and in today's video we're going to have a look at the top 10 apps for Dropbox and if you are watching this video I suppose that you know what Dropbox is. Dropbox is a synchronization service for your files so you can sync your files among multiple devices and is very practical and gives you two gigabyte of storage space for free. So uh, now let's have a look at the first uh, app that I chose for my list and this app is called Dropbox Encore. What it does is actually quite simple. It allows you to install various instances of Dropbox so you can have a private account and a business account and have them running simultaneously on your Mac so you don't mess around with the various accounts you have. Unfortunately, this is only available for Mac. I couldn't find any software for Windows, but I'm sure there's something out there. So if you know something, please leave a comment here. Another cool service for Dropbox is called Drop It To Me, and Drop It To Me allows you to securely uh, receive files from anyone to your Dropbox. So if you're working uh, with uh, clients and they send you files that you have to work on, for example, PSD files if you're a graphic designer or uh, whatever, you can receive those files securely, setting up an unique upload address with password protection where your clients can send the file to and then you can receive the file securely. Another great app that works with uh, Gmail is attachments.me and I love this app because when you receive attachments via email, those attachments can get stored immediately to your Dropbox. So there is no messing around with attachments anymore. You have them synced to whatever device you want and um, attachments.me uh, connects to your Gmail account and then you can view very easily those attachments at the top of your emails in a sort of uh, slider. So very well made, very pretty, and very easy to use. A very common complaint I hear uh, from people using Dropbox is that they ask me, oh, is it really necessary? Do I really have to use the uh, Dropbox folder? And the answer is if you rely solely on Dropbox, yes, you have, but they are programs such as Mac Drop Any that can sync any folder with your Dropbox. So you can just select the folders that you want to keep in sync with the Dropbox, but you do not have to move the folder into the folder, uh, into the standard folder uh, called Dropbox. So, oh, here's missing a C, I'm sorry for that. So you can really sync any folder and that is very useful and you are going to use that on a daily basis. Another very useful app is called URL Droplet and URL Droplet is um, a service where you can just drop a URL from the internet and the URL droplet is going to save that file to your Dropbox. And uh, this could be, for example, PDFs, this could be movie files, uh, audio files, pictures, virtually any file that you can find on the internet. And this is basically just going to be saved quickly with a slight delay granted uh, to your Dropbox. I've tested those with, with PDFs, movie files, audio files, and pictures, and it worked great. So here is a recommendation that you're not going to be using every day probably, but is very useful to have that on your list. The next app is not necessarily a Dropbox app, but you can certainly use that with Dropbox. It is called InSync, and it works with uh, Google Docs. And if you're using Google Docs, sometimes you really have the urge to work on your files locally, for example, because it's not, not that comfortable working online with your documents. And you keep asking yourself, how do you keep, how, how do you get those files and how do you keep those files in sync locally and with uh, Google Docs? So you can use InSync because InSync is going to download all the files from Google Docs. Well, you have to be comfortable with InSync connecting to your Google Docs account and when they do, they download all the files and then you can upload, download those files immediately, locally, edit those files, and then those edits, uh, those modifications to the documents get uploaded immediately to um, Google Docs. So, and then you can take that folder that InSync creates and sync that with your Dropbox so that you hypothetically could work on several PCs on that documents locally, and then those documents get uploaded to your Dropbox. So very useful feature, especially if you're working on big projects and don't want to organize your files um, in Google Docs that can be quite tedious sometimes. Dropbox can also be used to host um, websites, for example, blogs, and there's a service called droppages.com and it lets you host your own, well, let's say blog, for example, and start blogging right away from your Dropbox. And um, this is actually done in four easy steps that are described on the web page. And uh, it's actually very, very easy to set up your own blog. You have to do the writing part yourself, however. 
If you are a fan of automation and like to simplify your tasks, then you're going to love the next service. It is called If This Then That or IFTTT. And it lets you set up automated recipes, how they call it. And those recipes, for example, um, do the following. For example, transfer any photo that you upload to Facebook to your um, Dropbox account automatically. And there are a lot more things that you can do with that service. So I just recommend go to ifttt.com slash recipes. And there you're going to find a lot of automation recipes that might be very useful for you. The next service is called Video Dropper, and it lets you send YouTube videos instantly to your Dropbox folder. And this service might be useful for people that are not living in the US and that encounter frequently the problems that uh, you cannot play back videos uh, that have certain music uh, in them. And Video Dropper lets you download those videos to your Dropbox anyway, so you do not rely on viewing those videos on YouTube directly. Uh, for me, as a German, uh, it's very useful because we frequently find uh, videos that are blocked by a, an institution here in Germany called the GEMA. Last but not least, I want to present a an application that I, I really like to use. It's called, it is called Box Cryptor. And with Box Cryptor, you can encrypt your Dropbox files finally with an AES-256 internet standard encryption. Dropbox is not the securest way to share and sync your files as there is practically no encryption. So I really love that app and it gives me additional security and is available for a lot of devices as you can see here at the bottom. So uh, go protect your files, make your files more secure and well, have peace of mind. Obviously, this is not a comprehensive list and I just listed the apps that I use personally and that I find useful. My question to you would be, what are your apps? What apps are you using that I might include into that list? So please leave your comment. And if you like this video, you'd help me a lot if you share this video uh, on the internet and help other people find out about that content. Below this video, you're going to find a link where you can read this video in a written version. And also you're going to find all the links to the apps I used in this video. My name is Mauricio for cloudbackuping.com and we're going to see us in the next video. Bye bye.